Hi, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, and we are speaking with the cast of Hello Tomorrow. Soon you folks will be saying, wow. I love living on the moon. Thank you guys for joining us today. Thank Hi, you Kate. so much. Hi, Kate. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. Uh, very enthusiastic group of people that we have here. Well, they are selling real estate on the moon in this show, so they better have, you know, kind of a sales personality. Billy, this show is set in what looks like 1950s America, but it's a little more technologically advanced, and your character is leading the sales team that's selling moon real estate. So tell us about the world this is set in. Well, it's a world that Amit and Lucas invented, and uh, I think it's meant to um, uh, let people see what America is going to look like in the future, and what it has looked like in the past, and what it is like in the present. It is America as we've seen America in a lot of different iterations, um, all of which driving for the same thing, sell, sell, sell. Sell, 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 make a lot of money. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Make you the have money. something to say like that. Make the money. So tell us about your character. He's kind of the guiding force of this sales team. He is a true believer that uh, capitalism and uh, products uh, can make people's lives a little bit better. As long as you don't charge too much and it lasts just long enough, things will uh, accumulate over time that will, all of a sudden, your life will be a, a happy, hopeful life well spent uh, because these little things have brightened your day every day. So he is convinced that that is uh, not just a, a likely way to get through life in America, but the best way because it, it, the promise of what it, it could be great tomorrow uh, is never lost on him. Okay. Well, Hanifa, your character has a lot of great ideas that drive sales, and she is kind of she's like the brain. She's the brains behind the operation Thank in you. many ways. Finally, yes, Thank yes. You. yes. <laughs> Very smart saleswoman. Put a downer. So <laughs> Numbers. You trained her well. You trained her well. So, oh. so tell us, tell us about her and, and what's driving her to sell this moon real estate. Well, I think that Shirley is extremely competent and also extremely flawed in a very human way. I think her drive is that she just wants to feel better in her life and more excited in her life. That's why she's with Eddie, um, and she's willing to have a uh, an affair. <laughs> she's willing to do that and put herself out in that way solely just to feel better in her world. I think she's come from a place of um, feeling lackluster and nothing is really uh, important, nothing is really exciting. And being with Billy and being with this team excites her and gives her something to look forward to. Aww. It's true. Well, Duchesne, your character is also on the sales team, yes. and uh, he makes a sale early on to Allison's character, uh, Myrtle, and uh, he's got a little bit of secret information about her when he makes this sale. Is, is he an ethical guy? Oh. Great question. Um, personally, as an actor, I refrain from making judgments of this okay. nature because it doesn't really serve my role. Mm -hmm. um, but what I can say about Herb is he's the eternal optimist. And so as the series progresses, uh, we kind of get to discover what an eternal optimist also crumbling looks like. And I think that's really a really interesting juxtaposition. So I don't know if that answers your question fully, but uh, yeah. Well, how does he see himself? We see him in the show as an well, optimist, but how does he see himself? He's an optimist. He, read, he reads <laughs> mantras. He, he just he, turned into her. He, 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 he was like, hi, her. I was ready, I was ready for, we don't use the R word. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he is um, truly at his core. He's an optimistic person. He's like a positive person. And he's just wrapped up in an idea which he believes in. I think that's very relatable. Um, but I don't think he's judging himself in that way. I think he's just like, how do I add value to these people's lives? And I'm going to get you what you need because you asked for it. And I kind of have the hookup, you know, I'll right. talk to my guy. It's a, it's a big hookup to be yeah. able to get someone a home on the moon. So, exactly. So, Allison, your character, Myrtle, tell us about her when we first meet her. What's her life like? I think Myrtle, when we first meet her, is, um, you know, Hanifa used the word lackluster, and I think that's pretty fair, of somebody who has settled in every element of her life and is suddenly offered the opportunity to seek something better because the promises that America makes are fantastic. And I think Myrtle's journey is looking at the promise and the, 
darker sides of those promises and those the failures of those promises and uh, and turns her into a less than happy person. <laughs> right. She's, <laughs> she's got a lot of money. She has a super successful husband, big house, beautiful wardrobe. Living the dream. Living the, Living dream. the dream. What is mm -hmm. it really the dream? And her husband is not faithful and they don't get along and his broken promises lead her into believing other promises that when they're broken hit her in such an existential way that she wants to burn the world down. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's great. Sounds like you need a house on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> if the world is burning down, that's the only place to go. That's right. It's time to go to the moon. So what was the toughest part of sort of adjusting to this, this world that you shot in? It's the 50s or like a version of the 50s. Was it the costumes? Was it the mannerisms? Billy? I confess. Give me this thing. Go for it. I don't know. I you confess. Uh, they, had, they created a, uh, such a complete world. That in fact, it was the opposite. Yeah. Right? There, there was almost no accommodating necessary because when you walked onto the stage, you, you had everybody gamefully trying to represent this individual original world that felt so familiar and also had these little delightful edges of, uh, um, uh, I don't know. Je ne sais quoi. Yeah, yeah. what is it? Magic. Yeah, Je ne sais quoi? I don't know. Magic. What did you say? The I said oddity. 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 Because oddity. Oddity. Right. it is a very uh, specific <laughs> world they created. Uh, I'm Kate Hahn with TV Insider and TV Guide Magazine, and we've been speaking with the cast of Hello Tomorrow. Thanks. Hello Tomorrow premieres February 17th on Apple TV+. For more Insider videos like this, click subscribe.